Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 10.3 from Sadiku book. So this is the figure and we are asked to find V0. V0 is this one. But here we have a problem here. The voltage source is in sine, but the current source is in cosine. So I want to convert one of them into the another. So I will try to convert this 16 sine cos sine 40 into cosine. So let's do that. So I will have 16 sine 40. Okay. Remember that we have this trigonometric identities that sine x is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus x. Right? I will use this one. So this here will be 16 cosine 90 degrees minus 4t. Okay, and I want the omega or the angular frequency will to have a positive value. How to do that? Let's take out the negative 1 from here. So I will factor out negative 1 and then I will have 4t. And then minus 90 degrees. Now we can have another trigonometric identities, which is the cosine of negative x is equal to cosine x. So I will have this function here is equal to 16 cosine of 40 minus 90 degrees. So we can have this as this function here. So let's write that here. 16 cosine 40 minus 90 degrees. Okay. Now what we need is to convert all the value into fasor. Okay. Now we have this one. Let's take the amplitude which is 16 and the phase. The phase will be here. That will be minus 90 degrees. Okay. And for this current source, we will have 2, but the phase will be 0 degrees. So we'll have 0 degrees here. And then let's convert all the capacitor and inductor into fasor. We have 1 over 12 farad. 1 over 12 farad. We can convert it into fasor by using 1 over j omega l, omega c. So I will have 1 over j and the omega the omega is the coefficient of t here which is 4 so i'll have 4 and then multiplied by the value of the capacitor that will be 12 and 4 and 12 will cancel into 3 so i will have 3 over j multiplying by j over j we got minus j 3 ohm Okay, so we'll have minus J3 ohm. So here we will have minus J3 ohm. And now let's move on to this 2 Henry inductor. We'll have 2 Henry. In fasor that will become J omega L. And that will be J multiplied by 4 multiplied by the inductance value which is 2. So that will be J8. So I will have J8 here. Okay. Now, because this is V0, and let's us determine that here is our ground. So I will have V is equal to 0 in this node. But then, this node will be V0 from the ground. Or the value in this node will be the same as V0. So I will have V0 here. Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going to the right. This is going down. This is going up. And this is going to the right. Okay, we can do KCL at V0. Let's do KCL at V0. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. What is the currents that goes in? That will be this one here and that one. So 
I will have 16 the angle of minus 90 degrees minus phi 0 divided by the resistance which is 4 plus J3 okay and this current here also going in so I will have plus 2 angle 0 degrees and that's all so let's take care of the currents that goes out so this one here that will be v0 zero minus 0 so i will still have v0 divided by 1 and then this current here that will be v0 zero minus 0 still v0 zero here divided by j8 plus 6 so i will have 6 plus j8 okay v0 over 1 still be v0 and now i want to split this into two fractions so i will have 16 angle of minus 90 degrees divided by 4 plus j3 and then minus v0 over 4 plus j3 then plus 2 angle of 0 degrees and that will equal to V0 plus V0 over 6 plus J8. Okay, now I can move this V0 over 4 plus J3 to the right hand side and we still have the constant side on the left and V0 side on the right. So I will have 16 angle of minus 90 degrees divided by 4 plus j3 and then plus 2 angle 0 degrees and that will equal to v0 plus v0 over 6 plus j8 and then plus v0 over 4 plus J3. Okay, we can factor out the V0. And we can also group this one. So I will have 16 angle of minus 90 degrees divided by 4 plus J3. Plus 2 angle of 0 degrees. And I will have V0 here divided by 1 plus 1 over... 6 plus j8 and then plus 1 over 4 plus j3 okay now because this expression looks complicated i want to name this part as a and i want to name this part will be b okay so now let's calculate the a part first so the A part will be 16 angle of minus 90 divided by 4 plus 3i and then plus 2 and the angle will be 0. Yeah, I think that's all. This one and we can save this as A. Okay, let's store this as A. And now let's move on to this part here. I want to save this as B, right? So I will have 1 plus 1 over 6. Okay, 1 over 6 plus 8i. And then plus 1 over 4 plus 3. Let's save this as B. Okay, I got the B. And remember that V0 is A divided by B. We can calculate that, right? Recall A and recall B. So I will have this value here, but let's make it into Pasor or polar coordinates. So that's it. 
and I will have P0. This is the value of P0. I will have P0 here. Zero is 2.07. And what is the angle? The angle will be minus 78.90. Minus 78.90 degrees. Okay. And now let's convert it into time domain. So I will have V0 of T is equal to 2.07. And remember that we convert it into all cosine function. So I will have cosine. And then the omega will be 4 and t. And this is the phase. Minus 78.90 degrees. And the unit will be 4. I think that's all. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you see you in the next video bye bye